And, and when you did the book for her, like what kind of uh, process did it take? Like, how were you? Well, first of all, how did you do it? Were you doing it digitally or were you doing it on paper? I did it digitally. So I did the um, the ones for a, um, a children's book on digitally. I've done the art cover on Photoshop. Okay. Um, but nowadays I would have done it in Illustrator. But back then I didn't know Illustrator. So Illustrator to me is quite new. Okay. Um, and I've gone from being really scared of Illustrator to being like, oh, I quite like this. It's cool. Why were you afraid of it? Because I've done... When when I draw on the iPad, I draw with an Apple Pencil, so it's yeah. just like drawing, whereas Illustrator, because it's vector art, it's the pen tool, and it doesn't work the same as just drawing. You have to then click places and then bend it and curve it and then do different shapes, so it's just a different mindset, and it was just a bit daunting at first, but I've been doing a graphic design course off of Udemy, um, yeah. and the lady who wrote it is really good, um, and I've, she did like a little interactive worksheet, and suddenly it was like, Oh, that is actually quite easy. I don't know if I didn't try it before sort of thing. So I've gone from being daunted to really quite enjoying it. So she did a five-day challenge recently, and each day was a different – so it was like a photo composite one day, um, do something with your favorite quote another day. But then when it was the vector illustration one, I recreated a full scene from Adventure Time <laughs> using fully the pen tool and a couple of shapes. Okay. And I am so proud of it because it was like – I didn't think I could have done it before, but I could do it. And yeah. since then, I've done all sorts. Um, a friend of mine does a, a podcast, and her logo, the only version she got was getting a bit dated, and the file was not the best file. And she's thinking of putting it somewhere on it, on like um, clothing and things. So I was like, can you just get rid of the outside? It was just such a bad quality file, so I've literally recreated it fully from scratch. I've done it in Illustrator, so it's mm -hmm. a, almost a carbon copy. Only it's really high DPI, huge file will will do really well. But I've managed to, and she she can't tell the difference between her old logo and this one, other than it looks crisper. Oh, that's how closely I got it matched. So I was quite chuffed with that. <laughs> There's that is one of the benefits of like say Illustrator or a program like that is tracing is actually very very specific. You, you're able to get in there and like you said, you can actually take the line and move it around and yes, and make it yeah, match yeah. up. Like just have the layer underneath and then do one on top and draw it and then get rid of the old layer. Yeah, yeah. I've I've yeah. done that with a couple of things. It's funny too because with the separation you were talking about with Illustrator, over the years it's starting to skew more into the like there are actual vector based drawing apps now. Like there Illustrator still is the way it is where you can yeah, yeah. you know structure it, but there are more uh SVG, which would be the you know the vector based uh, programs out there that actually you can use just as regular drawing ones. Like even um, I've been messing with Blender lately and Blender lets you draw in SVGs yeah. and things like that. And it's, it's funny that it has, it has taken so long for that to happen. And also the fact that SVGs are much more portable and usable and reusable and importable rather than raster ones where it's always an image and you can't, you know, use it in other formats. You could actually take an SVG and import it into another SVG program and continue to manipulate it. Yeah, and yeah. that's it, so it's starting to meld together. But I get your disconnection when you first get it because it's it not drawing. Just, <laughs> it is, but but once you get used to it, it, it is quite cool. So I, I've started now. I, I do daily prompts, and sometimes now I will do my daily art prompt in Vector Art just to see. Yeah. Just to go for the different process and okay. things like that. So I've ranged from doing like little collections of so like if the one of the prompts was a razor so mm -hmm. i literally did a sheet and i recreated loads of different types of razors yeah so they look almost like the real thing or i've done i think one of the prompts was um seven which is quite loose so i did seven of nine from star trek <laughs> but i did it as there vector just to nice. see if i could try and do it sort of thing um and it's once you get your confidence up on it it's right quite cool because before you were like where do you start but now it's like well just put a an eclipse on there and then you'll just remold it and tweak mm -hmm. it and change it around and so it, it's just your confidence levels isn't it but my, my, my main one is procreate i've been using that for i just worked out about two and a half years okay um but just recently i've been doing some tutorials where even though i've used it for only two and a half years i'm now using it to a much higher level yeah and i'm, I'm like i've done a couple of tutorials and i'm like did that always happen? Has that tool always been there? Right. And now I'm, and I think 
because I do a daily challenge, a lot of them have been quite little ones and they've been quite quick drawings or they've been quite cartoony. Now I'm going for some more realism and some more in-depth stuff. So mm -hmm. it's really quite cool. But I'm quite enjoying the progression that I'm going through, which is good. Yeah. Well, and there's something to be said for uh, not going straight into the tutorials and just using a thing and getting used to the environment. Like it's not as overwhelming because then you look at it later and you're like, oh, that's over here. And you understand why it's over there. You under, you know, there are things sometimes yeah. you run into by yourself. Sometimes you, yeah, when someone shows you, like you're more familiar with the environment when people start going, yeah. here's how to do it. Yeah. If you have no idea and you start doing the tutorial, you don't know why you went there. You're just following yeah, the yeah. motions. And these tutorials, it's not how to use Procreate. It's say, here's a fantastic art piece. I'm going to do it and you're going to follow along and recreate right. it yourself sort of thing, that sort of thing. So, um, and I've done a couple of intermediate and advanced ones. But what, what I've done after each individual one, I've then gone away and done it again off mm -hmm. my own bat without using the tutorials to see if I remember the techniques, mm -hmm. which is actually quite cool. So I did um, a macaw parrot. As a tutorial, oh, it's about yeah. two and a half hour, but nearly three hour pa um, tutorial, and it's almost lifelike. And then I thought well, I'm going to try to do that again. So I went, I spoke to a person on Facebook. So I'm in a group which is um, free reference photos for artists. So it's photographers that are either amateur or or more. Okay. They'll share their artwork, their their photography, and then artists will say, "Oh, I'll recreate that," and then they share the piece. And he'd done a macaw, which was a different colouring different angle so I said oh, I'm gonna have a go at this and I've done it and not only did it work out well he really likes it and both of the pictures I've done if I put it through Google Lens it recognizes it as a macaw <laughs> so I'm taking that as a good thing <laughs> I never thought of doing that. That's actually yeah. a really interesting idea. So you you take a picture of it and go ask Google basically what is this? Yes so if it, it's like I did a, I did a flamingo which was a bit more paintery yeah and it recognized it as a flamingo drawing, whereas the other ones, because I was trying to do more realism, it actually recognized it as the macaw parrot. Did you come up with this idea or did somebody suggest it? It was just an idea I had because... That's amazing. <laughs> just to check to see whether it, the realism was as real as I could make it sort of thing. <laughs> I love that idea so much. 